what is value-sensitive design? Value-sensitive design is an approach to creating and doing technology that takes into account human values. It is important because technology is aimed at humans, so we need to take into account our own values to understand it. There are four main elements to value-sensitive design. Values take into account the impact of technology on humans in designing a system accordingly. Generally, the values that are focused on relate to human well-being, human dignity, justice, welfare, and human rights. Stakeholders are people that are affected by a system. These include direct and indirect stakeholders. Pervasiveness is how a system will spread and affect people in the long run. Will it become popular? Will it expand into other countries? Does it undermine any other systems that already exist? When incorporating human values into design, creators must think about how their system will function in both the short and long run to make it sustainable in the future. We chose to analyze Spotify through value-sensitive design because it's a relatively new system that is revolutionizing the music industry and follows the new way that people are starting to value music. It also allows us to draw a comparison between other music systems such as iTunes to provide examples of how systems follow different human values in the makeup of their system. We will now break Spotify down into the four components of the value-sensitive design model. Stakeholders of Spotify. The direct stakeholders include the customers who use the service to listen to music and the record labels and artists who use the system to make money and to share their music to a large audience. The indirect stakeholders include file sharing websites that lose users to Spotify because Spotify actually offers a legal way to listen to music for free, which lures people away from music piracy. Spotify's values. Spotify values consumers more than the musicians because the consumers are able to get any music that they want for free while musicians make a very small cut of the money made off of their songs on Spotify, only about 0.4 cents per play. This creates tension between people who want their music for free and the companies that want to make money off of their intellectual property. Pervasiveness in Spotify. Spotify changes the way that people view music. After getting all the music they could want for free, people will no longer want to pay for it. This undermines systems like iTunes, which charge 69 cents to $1.29 per song. Piracy is also combated by this system because it is safer to get music on Spotify. Spotify's integration with Facebook through friends playlists and a Facebook login helps spread Spotify to more people by letting people know on Facebook when you're listening to music on Spotify. Spotify and time. In the short run, Spotify is focusing on keeping its music free yet influencing people to upgrade to its premium service. It is also working on spreading its popularity through integration with users' Facebook news feeds. In the long run, Spotify needs to convince musicians to put their music on their system and to keep it there because some musicians, like Coldplay and the Black Keys, don't like the small royalties that they make for the service. Spotify also needs to work on its advertisements so that it can make more money and be more relevant to users. By using the information from a user's Facebook profile and music preferences, Spotify could personalize its advertising, making users more comfortable with the service and helping to make more money off its advertisements. In conclusion, value-sensitive design is a way to approach technology that incorporates human values. This can be applied when creating a new system, as well as when analyzing an existing system. 
The four main elements include stakeholders, values, pervasiveness, and time. And finally, Spotify is an exciting, relatively new system that allows us to analyze these components and compare it to other similar music systems.